What up, what up, what up? Greetings, my good people. It's your boy Art Czar back with you for another one live in effect. This has been a one that's been a long time coming. Another coach review of the Metropolitan 1941 Duffel 52. I've been holding on to this item for a while because I wanted to take the time to really go through this particular item. I love this item. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite pieces, probably the favorite piece. Thing about it is I've never actually carried it yet. And <laughs> it's been indicative on me to find the means to get this thing reviewed so that I could begin to carry, but I haven't really uh, had the need to. I, I do not want to take this on an airplane. I'll just say that straight up. I don't want to put it on an airplane. It's, it's that thick, nice leather. We'll get into that. But I've been very, very, very careful about where I've taken this bag or done anything with it. I haven't even taken it anywhere. It's, it's still freshly wrapped and all that good stuff. I've kept it in this big, nice canvas filling uh, linen uh, dust bag. And, you know, anytime you see that 1941 stamp, you know what is it? You know what it is. You know it's going to be a 1941 uh, piece of some sort. So let's bust this out. So what we have here today, people. So we have this beautiful Metropolitan Coach 1941 Duffel 52 in all of its glory. Let's just go ahead and de close this thing. Bang. Look at that. In all of its beauty. Now, let's get into this thing. I even had to actually get a specific uh, tag for this because they didn't, uh, these don't come with it. You have to order this separately. Now I want to go really, really, really uh, close. You can actually see it from here. I don't even have to zoom in on this. See these uh, grain patterns? This bag is brand spanking new. It's never been carried before. Obviously, I love my hang tags. I've said this before in many of my other videos. This thing is amazing. I mean, this 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 bag, I'm telling you now, it, it, it's a show stopper. You pull this thing out, people are gonna lose their minds. They're gonna lose it when you draw crowds with this bag. When you when you show up with this thing, people are gonna say, wow, what look at this bag. You can see the grain pattern built into this thing everywhere. You can look at it and you can see that the uh, attention to detail is here. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Forget all the, the rambling. Okay, so we got the brass uh, tipped hang tag, as you can see. Uh, brass infused into this nice thick leather hang tag. You got the brass D rings that hold the uh, handles and straps to the bag. Secures it very, very strongly. This kind of reminds me of the. Uh, you have the, uh, I have two uh, reviews I have to do on these other particular bags. I haven't gotten to them yet. Uh, but one is a Metropolitan Tote. Kind of kind of built like the Tote a little bit. You have this very, very cool attention to detail. Uh, if you look here, let me get a nice little focus on this if I will. Yeah, let's get that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So we got this nice thick uh, sailboat sail, uh, probably nylon thread. It's definitely not the type of thread that you're going to find in clothing articles. You're going to find this type of thread in uh, high wind impact resistant type of uh, items. Uh, they use this in parachutes and things like that. So anytime you, you don't want that stuff to rip on you when you <laughs> jump in 10 or 15,000 feet down to the ground skydiving or whatever. Those guys will lose their minds if a pilot would uh, have that problem having a parachute to rip because of the thread. But this is the kind of thread that they use. You can look all over this particular item. You can see it here. Very, very nice, thick uh, contrast stitching. That's another beautiful thing. It actually matches the brass buttery smooth zippers. The Coach buttery smooth uh, tags, pull tabs. You can see it is definitely Coach uh, there with that as well. Uh, they take their time and they really go ham. Sorry about that, guys. 
lost a little bit of power. I think I have dead battery uh, draining really fast on this thing. So I go back. But anyway, I was where I left off before I was so rudely interrupted by my camera. Um, I don't like to diss other uh, manufacturers of items. I think all items are great in their own way. Uh, great items are made all over the place. It's, I mean, there's only one kind of cow that I'm familiar with that has a calf skin. Uh, but how they treat the cow is going to be the thing. It's how they treat that leather, that hide. It's how the bag will mature over time, how it would uh, develop all of its characteristics and all of the uh, the patinas and all that great stuff that so these leather connoisseurs talk about on a daily basis when you go to Coach and Louis Vuitton and some of these places. But this is Coach. I'm a Coach guy, so that's all I want to talk about is Coach. But uh, again, the interior of this bag, it is that suede velvety material, the same as my Metropolitan Tote. The 1941 line is the same thing on my Metropolitan Brief. Uh, they all have the same characteristics, nothing different about the uh, construction because the construction is all similar. Uh, double uh, threaded stitching. Uh, if you guys are hearing some pops back there, I think they are blowing fireworks. I don't know why. It's not even the 4th of July yet. Maybe they're getting started. But anyway, uh, and you can see it's starting to develop some kind of patina because it's darker in some spots, namely like here where the thread is double stitched. You can see two sides stitching to bond this uh, these pieces of this leather together. And then you got that really nice grain pattern. Look at that. That's all nice skin. And I've already preconditioned this bag. Now remember, if you do purchase a retail item, this is a Coach retail item. This is not an outlet item. But if you do purchase an item from the retail store from Coach, uh, they will, and they will actually give you uh, uh, complimentary services. They'll give you wine and stuff like that, champagne if you go sometimes. But mostly they will do all types of pre-treatments on your items. Uh, the leather will be conditioned. They'll condition the items for you. They'll do a lot of that stuff to uh, keep the mystique about Coach and how they treat their customers and all that stuff, which is A1. But they'll do conditioning, they do repairs, free repairs for life on your items. So as long as you take good care of it and you don't just, you know, uh, routinely try to damage your articles, you'll be fine. It's a beautiful thing. Coach, they go above and beyond. I've always told people that. I've never shied away from that. And they're amazing, you know? Go over here, you even look at the, uh, now this is very interesting, how they have a buckle system on the side tabs to hold this bag in place when you don't want to uh, basically uh, let the bag flap in the wind. You just can, un you can unbuckle this and then you have to find this threading or this D-ring here where the shoulder straps connect through. So it it's, it's a very, very good system how they have it. This bag is probably, if I give you dimensions, uh, I'll say it's about, yeah, it's about two foot long. Uh, somewhere around about 19 or 20 inches long. Uh, it's about uh, 13 or 14 inches tall. And that's the same thing as far as the depth, obviously. So if you open it up and and you can also you see where I'm, you see the height. You can get a good look at the height of this bag. But it's about 14 inches tall, 15 inches tall. Uh, definitely taller than a foot. And it's about, like I said, it's about mm, 20 inches wide, I would give it. Uh, so you got a lot of room in this particular bag. And then as far as uh, uh, the width of this bag, I would give it about uh, about 11 inches wide. Okay, so that's how I would measure it. So, you know, if you're looking at this thing, and it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's pretty good attention to detail. They have the coach insignias all over the D-rings. I mean, yeah, they didn't spare any expense with the construction of this particular article. This is my favorite duffel bag, the Metropolitan Duffel 52. And like I said, guys, get out there and you might want to try to grab this thing on a sale because normally they have sales on these types of items. And if you're lucky, you can uh, get your hands on one of these on uh, what they spring or summer sale. They have like 40 and 50% off. This bag, you probably won't find it on sale. They, they normally never put this bag on sale. They have a black one like this. I didn't like the black. I wanted the saddle. This is the saddle color. Uh, apologize for not mentioning it earlier. But guys, I'm telling you now, if you are a traveling stylish man and you want to kill the clock, you want to kill the, the, the you want to kill the block, you know, walk around with your chest stuck out, head held high carrying this thing with a nice suit on, a nice pair of slacks and a nice button down, nice Oxford shirt, something like that with a nice sport jacket, a blazer. I'm telling you, carrying this bag through an airport or even if you're on a road trip, you pop your trunk, you give, you give the valet your key and say, okay, let me get my bags out. You get the bellman, a couple of bucks. 
he's going to be looking at this particular bag. He's going to say, man, if I could get me one of those. I mean, it's, it's the type of thing that's going to definitely uh, raise awareness. It's going to keep people looking. They're going to say, wow, man, this, this, this guy has some style about himself. And also, I'm going to show you the bottom. It does have the feet on the bottom of the bag. Some people don't like the feet. Uh, some people think that they scratch up your tables and stuff like that. That could be true. Uh, but it depends on, you know, how you set this bag and where you put it and things like that. Uh, you know, how, how you care for it will determine that. But then again, if you're not a kind of person that's, uh, you know, worried about that, I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to take it and sit it on a glass table after I set it on the ground or something like that. I'm not, I'm not that uh, loose-minded to where I'm going to feeble-minded in that regard to take and uh, ruin or deface someone's uh, nice uh, oak or wooden furniture of some type. So I'm going to be very careful when I set this bag. I've never carried it, which is why I have it sitting on this nice uh, oak table. So uh, the thing about it is I can uh, easily uh, take this bag, set it on the ground or whatever have you, but it's, it's you're, you're after the leather here, guys. You're after the, you're after the strength of this bag. It's got pockets in it. Uh, uh, forgive me, I got all this paper in it because I haven't even carried this bag before but I wanted you to get an idea more or less I mean every bag is going to have its interior you're going to have pockets for pens and you know uh, pockets to put things in it your laptop you can carry in there if you really want to you got some space in there to throw some stuff in this bag uh, it's nothing you've never seen before in the inside of a bag but what I wanted to impress upon you guys I wanted to take the time to show you the real deal holy feel like the texture of this bag the type of leather the supple quality of this bag so nicely treated real smooth but thick and durable you know it's 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 what you want man it's it's the thing that is going to get you the most attention so you guys out there and oh one of the things i wanted to mention this bag does come with a lock the locks on the inside of the bag i haven't even taken it out yet uh it's somewhere down in here uh, one of the sides of this thing i haven't even taken it out of the bag yet because i have no use to take it out of the bag up oh, see there is the lock right there you guys can see that it's still encased in the uh, that nice styrofoam or whatever that is uh, this, uh, this wrap they put around it just to make sure it doesn't get scratched up or whatever have you but you can clearly see the lock and it's attached to one of the uh, interior zipper pockets so i'm going to leave it in there I'm, I, I'm i'm one of these guys i don't like to unpack this thing with all this paper and all that because it keeps the bag sturdy when I'm not when it's not in use so you want this thing to remain in its proper form the way that it is nice bulky look you don't want it to get creases in it and stuff like that unnecessary creases so I just leave this stuff in here and that's why I didn't unpack it for you guys but you get the idea the interior of the bag is not going to change it's pretty much the same uh, you're going to have this type of uh, set up in every duffel bag obviously you know how to pack these you roll everything you don't stuff clothes in it but again guys this again is the metropolitan duffel 52 in its nice glove tan saddle leather nice thick and it's a pretty heavy bag it's nice weight too this thing weighs probably about five or six pounds nothing to sneer at nothing to play with this bag has some weight on it so just remember that next time uh you guys go out to get this bag uh looked at or whatever have you go out there and give it a shot i mean you know go and see coach see some of the people i have a nice uh, rep uh they always uh hang tech they uh monogram all my items for me every time uh this was an extra you know 70 bucks or whatever it was for this thing well obviously it's gonna it's gonna mature and age with the bag so i didn't worry much about that you're getting a really really nice item uh both sides one side and the other nice brass uh hardware uh, buttery smooth uh, coach has this wonderful uh, layout for all this stuff when it comes to zipping this bag up and I tell you now you can do this a million times it'll never catch on anything unless you got something in the track <laughs> like paper but it'll never catch on anything you can zip this thing and unzip it a million times and nothing's ever going to happen to it because that's the type of quality that coach likes to put into its items okay they are the epitome of what you want your items to look like this is how you want your items to go. This is how you want them to be. And so guys, that's it for this particular review. I waited for months and months before I broke out this bag. This is again, the Metropolitan Duffel 52. And it is from Coach.